Guess what, streamers? It's time for your next subathon, but it's dangerous to go alone, so take this. We've just released our brand new and updated subathon timer widget. So let me walk you through where to find it and how to set it up. First, go to the elements gallery at widgets.streamelements.com and search for subathon. Now let's click that customize button. Now, before you do anything else, we recommend that you hit save so that the widget is saved onto your Stream Elements account and you can access the control panel. Now that we have it saved, let's start with opening up the control panel and going to setup. This is where you can configure both the starting time and how much time each event adds to the timer. We can also define the commands that can be used in the chat to either pause, resume, or add time to the timer. And lastly, we can configure which message shows up on screen when the time is up or when the timer is paused. Now let's check out the control section. This is where you can add or remove time, where you can start the timer, and where you can reset the timer. Remember, resetting the timer cannot be undone, so be mindful of that before you press that button. Okay, it's time to make it your own. As with any other Stream Elements widget, you can head over to the right side menu and customize how it looks. First, to change the look of the timer itself, click on the background layer. And here you can change the font, color, and size of the timer. After that, you can go onto your left side menu and customize the look of each of the events that will add time to your timer. You can do that for every event available, and you can add even more by clicking the Add State button. Once you're done, click on Save, and then Publish. Now let's import it over to OBS Studio. In OBS, click the plus sign and choose Browser Source. Copy the URL onto the URL field and adjust the size to 350 width and 150 height. And there we go. We have our subaton timer ready and now all we have to do is start streaming.